pandemic and lockdown has accelerated the working and studying from home movement, pushing the need for a value for money laptop to cover this. Q kindly supplied us with their G3's 15.6 inch laptop to review. Inside is a Ryzen 5 4600H processor from AMD, IPS display and fingerprint sensor. Does it have what it takes to be a budget bargain? Let's find out. Open the box to the G3 and you'll be wondering if there isn't a slight hint of MacBook Pro in its design. A silver metal colour finish throughout the aluminium and plastic chassis with a single hinge connecting the display panel and a large touchpad. The keyboard deck is rigid with no flex. The same could be said for the display cover with excellent screen protection. Overall it's solid and well put together. The G3 weighs in at 1.8 kilograms or 3.97 pounds, okay for moving around occasionally, although it's not a laptop to hold on for too long with one hand. There are four rubber feet underneath to provide extra ventilation and a better typing angle. The bottom cover is easy to open. Undo the 10 Torx screws to open the bottom cover. Two so dim slots are available for dual channel memory up to 16 gigabytes. There is a M.2 2280 SATA SSD slot and a shorter M.2 2242 SATA slot. The Wi-Fi card and battery is replaceable too. The 15.6 inch IPS display panel has a 1080p resolution with a brightness level of 250 nits. There are narrow bezels on the sides and the screen supports 180 degree angle adjustment. In general usage indoors, the display is good and the viewing angles are excellent thanks to the IPS technology. Whether you're typing a document on Google Docs or a spot of after hours gaming, colours are good and text is sharp. The colour accuracy is fine for general use but don't expect to work on colour critical programs like Adobe Photoshop with it. The display is not too bad near a sunny window but due to its low 250 nits panel it won't be great with extreme sunlight. In terms of connectivity, on the left we have two USB-C ports, one for charging, and a headphone microphone combo jack. On the right we have two full-size USB 3.0 Type-A ports. Wireless connectivity is taken care of with the Intel Dual Band Wireless AC 3165 card offering Wi-Fi 5, AC and Bluetooth 4.2. Wireless connectivity was reliable with the Draytech, Vigor AP Wi-Fi 5 and Unify Wi-Fi 6 access points. The full-size keyboard with keypad is chiclet style and backlit. The keys are generously spaced out leading to an excellent typing experience. As a touch typist the keys were tactile and nicely weighted. Q have included a pack of UK stickers to place over the US keyboard layout. For example the pound symbol on the number 3 key. The power button also acts as a fingerprint sensor. Windows Hello fingerprint was easy to set up. Unlocking from the Windows 10 login screen was instant and reliable with the sensor. The overly large click pad is smooth to glide on with your fingers. Not as good as the more premium glass touch pads, but definitely not bad. Gestures work perfectly like pinch and zoom. The integrated buttons are not too loud when depressed and work well. The G3 has two speakers either side of the keyboard deck. Audio is fine for video calling, streaming music on Spotify or playing a game. It does lack a little warm tone and there is a little distortion at high volume. Plug in a pair of headphones to get the best experience. The one megapixel webcam is not the best. Oversaturated images and video when using the camera. Fine if you're making an occasional video call on Zoom, but buy an external webcam if you rely on it for work. Inside this review model we have a Wenmar AMD Ryzen 5 4600H with 6 cores and 12 threads, running at 3GHz base clock to 4GHz turbo. TDP is rated at 45 watts. Uniquely in a budget laptop, we have a full fat processor running rather than a power efficient U-Class processor. Along with a stick of 8GB DDR4 memory and 512GB M.2 SATA SSD, the G3 runs happily with Office Suite apps, web browsing and email checking. If you're more of a power user, I would recommend expanding the 8GB of RAM to dual channel 16GB to take full advantage of the power of the Ryzen processor and Vega GPU. Benchmarking results show a superposition score of 914, Geekbench 5 CPU single core scored 428 and multi-core score of 3897. Geekbench 5 computer scored 9240, Cinebench R23 resulted in multi-core score of 5799 and single core score of 389. 3D Mark gave an overall score from 591 with a graphics score of 514 and CPU score of 4097. 
PC Mark 10 had an overall score of 2538. The underside does get warm to the touch when the G3 has been worked hard and the rear vents blow out warm air via the dual CPU fans, otherwise it stays cool on a desk. There's a little humming noise from the dual fans when taxed but it's not annoying in the background. During basic tasks like office apps or browsing, it's silent. The integrated graphics in the G3 is the AMD Radeon RX Vega 6 GPU. TDP is rated at 15 watts. Performance wise, it's similar to the GeForce MX150 and below a GeForce MX230. Use dual channel memory to make full use of this GPU. The G3 will play most games that are a few years old. Fortnite will happily play in low to medium settings along with Apex Legends. Cyberpunk 2077 doesn't play well at all and Doom Internal and Forza Horizon 4 won't run with the 8GB memory on board this review model. Inside the G3 is a 45.6 watt hour battery that will give you approximately 5 to 6 hours general usage or around 7 hours video playback, disappointingly that it won't last a full day at the office. If you're gaming on max settings, look at 1 to 2 hours. The 87 watt power adapter has a generously long USB-C charging cable. Expect around 2 hours to fully charge. The good, the bad and the really bad. High quality. For the money, the G3 is really well put together. It's nice and solid with no flex. Upgrade options. The maintenance cover underneath is really easy to open with plenty of upgrade options including two memory slots, two M.2 SATA SSD slots and replaceable Wi-Fi card and battery. Great performance. With the AMD Ryzen 5 4600H under the hood of the G3, everyday tasks are a breeze. With a maximum of 16GB memory available and a fast M.2 SATA SSD, this laptop won't keep you waiting. Plenty of ports. Nice to see four USB ports in a laptop. Two Type C's and two Type A's for easy link up to peripherals. Heat and fan. The laptop does get warm to the touch on the left side of the keyboard and where the vents are at the back. Not a laptop to use for long periods on your lap. The fan also spins up to keep it cool when it's under medium to heavy load. Dim display. The IPS display is pretty good with great viewing angles and colours, but it could do with a slightly brighter display than the 250 nits level. I suppose you can't really argue at this price point. Q offers an interesting and affordable multimedia laptop at an amazing price point of £500 or $685. The device offers a 15.6 inch IPS display packed into an elegant metal plastic case. There's plenty of performance for everyday usage and you can play some less demanding games. The G3 has four USB ports and an easy upgrade path if you need to increase the memory or storage of the laptop. The display could be a little brighter and heat does build up on the chassis when it's taxed. Overall the QG3 delivers a lot of performance for its price range and is a very good companion for everyday use, perfect for light to medium users. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the QG3 laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching, cheers.